Dude, this thing is insane. I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh, and there goes my frame rate. The Soul of Eternity is quite possibly the hardest to obtain item ever created in Terraria. Anyone who's ever played Fargo Souls mod will know just how insane the crafting recipe for this item actually is. Not only are there hundreds of crafting steps, but the recipe also requires the collection of some pretty rare items. And as if this wasn't enough, there is an additional mod that you can install to add items from other mods such as Calamity to over double the size of the crafting recipe. With all this in mind, what I want to do today is find out exactly how many crafting steps it takes to make the soul of eternity and then i want to test it against some bosses to see if it's actually worth crafting this might get a little crazy so let's get started to figure out how many crafting steps it takes to make the soul of eternity first i have to set up some ground rules to determine what counts as a step most steps are pretty obvious but where things get a little more tricky is when dealing with ores and other base materials what i ended up deciding is that crafting materials would count as a step but only once so for example if if I needed to craft an iron bow, instead of counting every iron bar as its own step, I just counted all the iron as one. So in this case, to craft the iron bow, it would take two total steps. On top of the crafting steps, I also wanted to find out how many total items it would take to craft a soul of eternity. In order to track this, I again grouped base crafting materials together. So using iron as an example again, although hundreds of iron ore would probably be used in the recipe, I only counted it as one unique item. However, when it came to non-stackable items such as weapons and accessories, I counted each as their own item. With all this in mind, let's now take a look at my results. In order to craft the Soul of Eternity without the DLC mod installed, it takes 403 crafting steps and 552 unique items. To give this number a bit of scale, the most complicated crafting recipe in vanilla, being the Zenith, takes a grand total of 13 crafting steps. That means that the Soul of Eternity works out to having exactly 31 times more crafting steps than the Zenith. But if you thought it stopped there, you'd be mistaken. If you install the DLC mod, it adds three new souls to the recipe, each corresponding with a different content mod. With all of this added on, the grand total grows from the measly 403 crafting steps all the way up to 1,582 steps, utilizing 1,622 unique items. This means that if you wanted to craft the full Soul of Eternity with the DLC mod, it would take almost 122 two times more crafting steps than the most complicated vanilla recipe. Not to mention the fact that at some point, you'd need to play in Eternity Mode, Death Mode, True Mode, and for one of the Calamity items, you'd even need to have a hardcore character. Additionally, the recipe also includes quite a few rare items like I mentioned earlier. For example, you need to get the Halibut Cannon for one of the steps, so this is not an easy recipe at all. Now that we've seen how ridiculously hard it is to obtain this item, what I want to do now is test it against some bosses to see if it's actually worth crafting. When equipped, the soul surrounds you with dozens of different pets, summons, and projectiles, which honestly surprised me when I first saw it. Upon spawning, the soul pretty much instantly defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, Wall of Flesh, Planterra, and Gollum. And not long after, it managed to defeat my computer as well. After reloading my world, I tested the soul against Moonlord, and that didn't last long either. So next, I decided to ramp it up a bit, and managed to defeat Supreme Calamitous with just a copper short sword. So finally, I decided to do Boss Rush from Calamity, which if you don't know, spawns every boss from Vanilla and Calamity in order, super buff. Other than some serious dropped frames, and probably some hearing damage, the soul managed to tear through Boss Rush like it was nothing. So, in conclusion, I would not recommend crafting this item in a normal playthrough. It would probably take you hundreds of hours to collect and craft everything. But, if you do want to give yourself a challenge, once the soul is obtained, you basically become an immortal god. And I can pretty confidently say that the soul of eternity is by far the most insane item that I've ever seen in Terraria. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to be notified when I upload more like it in the future. And before I go, I just wanted to quickly apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I'm currently out of town for the holidays, so I don't have quite as much time to work on videos as normal, but I still do have some fun video ideas planned, so stay tuned. And with that out of the way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to Beave Notice Me Senpai and all my other patrons for helping make this video possible.